commit to this jump. Ha <laughs> ha, like a professional. There we go. Who's the pro bred now? That's what I thought. New, no, new, no, new. No. What's up guys and welcome back to I Am Bread. The game that looks like a little innocent slice of bread wants nothing more than to become toast. When in all reality, he is haunting his owner to the brink of insanity. I'll say it, I am Bread's Dark. This poor guy is so paranoid of his food now that he took an entire loaf of bread out of the bag and then put it on a shelf in his bedroom. And by the looks of it, he also downed half a dozen beers and a couple coffees and I think a bottle of liquor before heading to work. Like I said, man, th this is dark. He's fully expecting to come home to something weird, and something weird will indeed happen. I kind of rage quit this level last time, but this time around, ooh, he will become toast. You really gotta wonder what the bread's motivation is. Because it doesn't just want to be toasted, it wants to become pristine, highly edible, delicious toast. As if this guy who's been tormented for days on end is gonna come home to a mystery slice of toast in his bedroom and eat it instead of splash holy water on it. I would love to actually finish a level and feel accomplished in this game rather than feel like I'm gonna burst a blood vessel. So I'm not gonna be taking a leap of faith down onto that ironing board. Instead, maybe we can try a little something like this and take it in steps. No, 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 no. Okay, that works. Oh, we haven't seen a hair straightener before. That might work. I'm not seeing any kind of on off switch, so maybe if I wedge myself in here, we can toast. A perfectly safe way to toast. Why would he have a hair straightener? I mean, we haven't seen him, okay? Maybe he's just a dude with long hair and he likes to have it straight. That's perfectly fine. It's just a little weird that he has a pink cordless always on hair straightener. As if toasting yourself with a hair straightener wasn't hard enough, they had to add in localized toasting, which as you can see is very strong. We just shot up like 90 something percent and now it stopped. Right, just dead in its tracks. And my edibility took a crapping on. Okay, okay, careful, careful. We're just gonna toast the other side. What is burnt toast not edible? I don't know what this game's talking about. Okay, that looks perfectly edible to me. And if you're toasting your bread in a hair straightener, being burnt is the least of your concerns. Like, I would imagine this thing is gonna smell and taste like an old toupee that was hit with a flamethrower. And I'm toast, thank you very much. Get me the hell out of here. Mr. Merton came in very panicked this morning. He told me his theory that the bread was somehow responsible for the incidents. He then described how he placed the loaf of bread in his bedroom and returned from work to find his bedroom has also been upturned with a singular slice of toast sitting among the mess. He left saying today would be the day he was sure his theory is correct. I proceeded to remind Mr. Merton that he was making some very absurd claims and asked him to calmly take a step back and consider what he was saying. I know from previous sessions that Mr. Merton's home is not in the best kept condition. I suspect he is experiencing moments of realization. Regarding this loaf, I'm not entirely sure the meaning behind it. It is clearly not real and I'm having trouble coming to a suitable solution for him. Regardless, I played along and advised him that he should throw this loaf out both physically and mentally. My hope is this will allow him to stop blaming his situation on bread and we can move forward with his treatment. So now we know for sure that he is onto us. We weren't positive, there were a few possibilities, like he could have just gotten blackout drunk and forgotten a loaf of bread in the bedroom. Happens to the best of us, I'm sure. But now we're positive that he is experimenting and trying to figure out what this bread is. Well, lucky for us, he doesn't have a very big bathroom. I'm guessing we need to toast ourselves either on the radiator or the blow dryer. See if we can find our way over there and avoid the toilet. I can only imagine how bad a toilet is for edibility. <laughs> Thought I was gonna take a swan dive the second I make note of the toilet. Let's just stay on the wall, okay? Are these walls clean? Is anything in this house clean? Probably not. He's got a lot of drinks all over the place. No! Oh, God. 
No, 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 I do not care how much edibility you say I have left. Once food hits the splash zone, it's done. I'll be the first to admit that this game can be a little bit finicky when it comes to determining what ruins a bread's edibility. Or as I like to call it, breadability. You know, a, a dirty footprint, who cares? A couple of ants, not the end of the world, but trace amounts of urine. Especially without peanut butter, that's where I draw the line. Okay, if we get a little peanut butter, then maybe I'd be willing to talk. But until then, we are just going to die? The walls are dirtier than the floor around the toilet? How? Oh, yeah. Would you look at that? It's all shower mildewy. So I'm guessing that means we can't use that wall, and I really don't want to skirt around the edge of a bathtub. That's just asking for trouble. I can't imagine a bathtub full of water is good for a slice of bread. <laughs> so how about we try to go this way and hope that the opposite wall is just a little bit cleaner? No, no come on! <laughs> right into the water! What if we do a little something like this, right? We can open you up and land smack dab in the water again. Damn it. This door will not get off my little bready balls. It's a race for me to get anything done before it closes on me again. Can I please just go, go, go? No. Yes. Maybe. Yeah, there we go. Okay, little garbage never hurt anybody. <laughs> now wall, please. Okay, you don't need to be clean, you just need to be clean enough, right? Just clean enough not to hurt me. Don't hurt me. And then something, oh, that lab looked expensive. Crap, crap, crap. We're fine. I can almost understand having empty dishes all over the house and beer bottles and priceless vases in your bathroom, but who doesn't empty the tub after they're done having a bath? Like, are you gonna use the water again for something? I don't even want to know, honestly, if he is going to use it for something. It's probably for the best that we don't find out. Because we, we are dying. No, no, no. Okay. Good to know. If you go too high, the walls get angry at you. Something green and fuzzy tells me I am not going to be able to go up and over this door. So I need to go across it, which may be a problem. His bread doesn't exactly have an easy time with that maneuver. Okay, don't panic. Do not panic. And we're dead. Screw it. We're going back to the bathtub. Okay, I am not trying that again. That was way too difficult. This maneuver I've got down pat. And I can hopefully yell enough motivating stuttery things that we stay away from the toilet. Because that's what it comes down to, okay? It has very little to do with the controls and entirely to do with the commentary. Now, how high is too high, right? Maybe we can stay within a, a healthy area here. Is, is that possible? Is that, is that possible? Please, please, pretty please. <laughs> okay, I think I might be able to get on this shelf. That would be a, a good start, right? We'll get right over here and then, no, no, we'll get right over here. Good. I would be willing to bet anything that the bathtub is clean, but the corner of that wall is not. So I'm going to have to walk across that little bridge that they have dangling over the water. This is just brutal. <laughs> Maybe I should make this jump. Hey, would this be safe? Oh, yeah, don't mind me. Just uh, diving into the, the jam. W -w 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 what's dirty? What was dirty? Is the tub dirty? Why would the tub be dirty? I thought that the whole premise was that the tub is clean. I don't know. Oh, no, the wall's dirty. The wall's, the wall's dirty. Do not touch the wall. <laughs> okay, fine. I won't. See if I care. I'm just a new. Oh, oh, okay, it's, it's slippery. It's slippery. It's real slippery. I should have covered myself in jam. No, 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 no. Don't, don't touch the wall. Don't touch the wall. Don't touch the wall. Stop touching the wall. Stop touching the wall. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Okay, careful, careful. We're just, just gonna Tony Hawk grind our way across this. <laughs> this isn't the most epic movement, but if I can make this work, I will. I do not want to cross this bridge. This seems awful. 
<laughs> Seems absolutely awful. Oh, no. No. Okay. Okay. Just slow and steady. That's how we're going to approach this, okay? No sudden movements, because that's how you toss yourself into the bath of death. How is soap not bad? How- soap is clean, right? <laughs> soap is clean, and we just don't want to be dirty, so we are going to- Aha! Okay! <laughs> Edibility is still not looking great, but we can see the end. It's- it's- it's so close. We just need to keep being careful. Okay, that, that's, that's the name of the game. I got, like, fingernails or something on me. That That's not good. Come on. Come, come on. There we go. There we go. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. No, no. This wall's okay. Oh, this wall's okay. Perfect. <laughs> now, hair dryer, here, please huff and puff, turn on. I have never been so happy to suck at the front of a hair dryer before. Once again, I'm gonna smell and taste like hair, but it's fine. Okay, don't worry about it, because this might be the first level in I Am Bread that I haven't rage quit. Please tell me I didn't speak too soon. Keep going, keep going, keep going, because my animality is at zero percent. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Look at this bread! I look like that crappy tub of ice cream with the three flavors in it. Uh, I'm toast, I'm toast, I'm toast, I'm toast, I'm toast, and I'm done! I felt it was important to document today's events despite no official session, as Mr. Merton showed up at my house shouting he wasn't crazy and that it was the bread all along. Clearly unhinged, I quietly told him to leave his car here and come with me to the office for another session. On the way to the office, he described how he'd locked the bread in the bathroom and when he got home, a single slice had still managed to make itself into toast. Apparently, this was all the evidence he needed. We arrived at the office where I promptly had my men take Mr. Merton to a secure location. It was not safe to have him go home or to be left by himself. He was immediately very distressed, but mainly because he said the bin men were arriving tomorrow and the loaf was in a bin in his garage and had to be destroyed. He only calmed down when I promised to take the bins out for him when I drop his car back off at his home. I've already called in some specialists and I will visit Mr. Merton tomorrow. I fear these sessions are the only normality he currently currently has in his life. You really didn't want to piss it off, Mr. Merton. That was your first mistake. <laughs> you think you could just throw out half a loaf of whole grain evil? I don't think so. <laughs> I'll be waiting for you when you get home and you're never going to see that psychiatrist again. Now, where would I toast myself in a garage? I've made do with a whole lot less than a dirty old radiator, so all I need to do now is make sure that I commit to this jump. Haha, <laughs> like a professional. There we go. Who's the pro bread now? That's what I thought. No, 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 no. We're fine. <laughs> this game is so panic inducing. I'm at the very beginning of the level. I should not be this on edge. I have not accomplished anything yet. We also have some kind of lawnmower. The top of that might be a little hot. Oh no! <laughs> You're gonna be kidding me? Okay, maybe we won't go that way. Maybe we can take the, oh, nope, we don't want to take the walls. Is that a washing machine or a dryer? This is very important because one will make me soapy and soggy and the other might be able to toast me. I'm also noticing that there's a microwave on the floor down there that we probably can't get in. There's some kind of lawnmower or floor waxer that we might be able to turn on and the engine would get hot. I feel like I can get up in the rafters and then move all the way over to the furnace, but I don't know how to get up the stupid box. It folded over on me. Like, this, this is, mm, what? This is not where I want to be, but apparently physics do not apply when you are brains. <laughs> well then. There's no way I would get up in the attic and then trip over something and immediately fall on the ground, would I? Does that sound like the kind of thing that I would do? <laughs> Should we maybe play it safe and see if we can turn on the floor waxer? I want to try the attic. You know what? How about we... Oh, oh, careful. We just do something like this first. 
Oh, oh, I screwed it. I screwed it already. It didn't even take a few seconds. We're good. 96% edibility. That's perfectly acceptable. I wanted to play it safe the whole time. Yeah, the, the whole time I was thinking to myself, we're going to go over here and see if this thing works. Probably shouldn't have rolled around in all the shavings. Yeah, that's going to cost us some points. God damn it. <laughs> this thing has a button. Buttons are good, right? I don't trust the wall, though, so we're going to have to do another jump. Oh, boy. Everybody knows how much I love lining these up. Careful. Here, oh, there we go. And jump. Oh. Okay, it's not dirty. That's good. How the Christ am I supposed to climb up this thing? This, this, this seems awful. <laughs> this seems like a real bad idea. Okay, okay, come on, come on. Grab it, grab it, grab it. There we go. Oh, oh, no, 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 don't go places, please don't go places. Oh, it's hot, it's hot, it's hot, it's hot. Oh, no, no, no. Oh. We're good, right? This is good. Just, just hope that all the wood doesn't catch fire and we should be fine. We're, we're toasting nice and quickly. Okay, oh, that might be a little too quick. Little too quick, 100%, good to go. Oh, God, that does not look edible. And then we flip, and we wait for success. <laughs> yes, oh, 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 okay. Ooh, if I had screwed it after winning. <laughs> I'm sure we could have gotten over to the furnace though. Maybe I'll try some of these levels again because there are multiple ways of doing it and I definitely want to see what else is possible. But you know what? I think that's going to be it for this episode of I Am Bread, guys. And don't worry about the report card, okay? C's get degrees. I am learning the game. I am getting control of things and we only have two levels left, which means next episode might be the finale and we'll find out what happened to poor old Mr. Merton. So if you guys want to see that, as always, be sure to leave a like on this video, let me know, and I'll return for more soon. And thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.